Okay, so I saw Wicked a couple days ago and here are my thoughts on it. So I'm going to try and make this review a bit quick because I'm not the biggest fan of the Wizard of Oz uh, universe, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I've seen the Wizard of Oz like once or twice and I didn't really know about Wicked the musical. So going to this, uh, I, w I was a bit confused. I didn't know if it was meant to be a prequel or a sequel to Wizard of Oz because the trailer it was a bit confusing as well with the whole timeline of when everything happens. But it says it's before Dorothy. This is the prequel. It shows how the Wicked Witch of the West became the Wicked Witch. And, uh, yeah, I liked it. Um, is it better than Joker 2 when it comes to the musical aspect? Yes. Is it better than Joker 2? Sure. Um, but most of the songs are pretty forgettable. There's only, like, two standouts, which is popular and uh, Defying Gravity, which, you know, everyone knows. Uh, and, you know, these two both sing it, Ariana Grande and um, the actress who plays the witch, I don't know her name. They did very good. Um, I hear, like, behind the scenes they hate each other, and that's why in interviews they're, like, <laughs> acting really weird and they're crying all the time. So if that is the case, I feel like they did a very good job in the movie because their chemistry, it seems genuine. They seem like genuine friends. Um, I will say I don't really like how much they're trying to humanize the Wicked Witch of the West because, like, in the original uh, Wizard of Oz, she's kind of portrayed as just an all-round evil villain, no redeeming qualities. But in this one, she's, like, <laughs> just a kind, spirited person. She had a rough upbringing and she was bullied a lot. But she's still nice. She likes animals. She's the only one protesting against animal rights and stuff. And, you know, she creates the monkeys. And she's like, oh, I don't want to do this. I'm giving the monkeys wings. They're in pain. But then in The Wizard of Oz, she's like commanding them. She's torturing them. She's saying, go get Dorothy. I'm going to get your little dog. <laughs> it's, it's just weird. It seems really... I'm not, I'm not completely sold on it yet. I know this is part one, which is actually crazy. This movie is like two, two hours and 40 minutes. So if you're going to do a double feature on the next movie, it's probably going to be like five hours, which is actually insane. I get it's a musical and stuff, but still, it's just weird. But that's besides the point. That's not only my problem with the movie itself. It's more my problem with the story of Wicked, which is, you know, a musical that happened 20 years ago. So I get why they didn't really change that part of the story. I and that was a very practical movie. They had practical sets and everything. But the these are different times now. That was <laughs> Wizard of Oz is almost 100 years old. And I feel like there's only one surviving cast member last time I checked. Uh, but yeah. I like the movie, it was pretty good, it just didn't need to be two, two hours long. Two, I do like how we see the origin of some characters, like the Cowardly Lion, we see him as a cub and we can assume that he's going to grow into the character, but I'm not sure if this movie is connected or canon to the original Wizard of Oz, because in the opening we see the lion and Dorothy and all the other characters, and the lion's like a CGI actual lion, not a man in a costume, so I'm pretty sure we can assume that this isn't like connected to the original Wizard of Oz, it's just its own separate universe. Which makes more sense for me, because if this is connected, it doesn't really make sense, especially with the witch, because she's evil in that one. Um, we see the Tin Man, I think, the Scarecrow, like them before they turn into that, and um, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, I liked the movie, it was okay, I guess there were some cringe moments, some cringe musical numbers that I just rolled my eyes at. It didn't need to be two and a half hours long, that was some bullshit right there. Uh, but yeah, if, if you like musicals and shit and you like Wizard of Oz, go see it.